What's up, you guys? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays, 4Ks, and even DVDs sometimes. The way we like to buy and own our movies and have them in a beautiful library to watch when and how we want without any worry of re-edits or them being pulled from digital shelves on some streaming service. If you're a physical media collector, you want to be a physical media collector, or you just like to talk about movies, you're in the right spot. Join the conversation. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I update. And if you like this video, a like is really appreciated. Guys, I think you underestimate the importance of likes. It really helps get the word out about what we're doing here. So take a second if you wouldn't mind and hit the like button. So hopefully you've been following my progress. I'm doing my yearly update to my collection. I'm pulling things off the shelf. I'm reorganizing. I'm not changing my organizational methods at all. I'm just updating because I pull a lot of stuff off the shelf for TikTok videos or whatever and it doesn't go back in the right spot and I just need to get things back organized. And while I do that, it's a great time for me to just sort of run through my collection with you guys. The collection's gotten kind of big and unwieldy, but we're going to try and do the best at this that we can. So I've already done Steelbooks. I've already done Scream Factory. Those videos are here on the channel if you haven't seen it. And I've done part one of Arrow video releases. Part one was the standard, no slip cover, standard Arrow releases, which is a pretty substantial number. I have a lot of them because I tend to hit them on sales and that kind of thing. And now what I have left are slip covers, hard box, and box sets editions. Now, I don't know if we're going to get all of that in this video. I'm going to start with slip covers and we'll see how long we go. If if I'm able to blow through it pretty fast, we might do it all. I might have to do hard box editions and uh, box sets in a separate video in a third installment. I just I have a lot of arrow and I'm kind of wordy. So let's see how it goes. Let's get started here. First thing we got is 12 Monkeys. I love this one. So what I have here technically is the Blu-ray edition, but... There is a pre-production check disc in here of the 4K that was sent to me for review. It's exactly the same disc as the one that you bought in the store. So having this beautiful packaging and that disc, I didn't see a purpose to buying the UH, the official UHD release because it's exactly the same packaging. The biggest difference is I still get to keep my clear case instead of going to the black case, which I, I like the clear case so much better. Anyway, 12 Monkeys, Bruce Willis, Brad Pitt, Madeline Stowe, classic sci-fi, really, really good movie. All right, so we have here Lux Eterna. Gaspar Noe is one of my favorite all-time directors. I love how he's able to push buttons. He did a movie called Vortex that we'll talk about on another video. But in preparation for that, he was testing out technology with this movie that he used on Vortex. This movie is around 55 minutes, I think. It's really good, really impactful. It has some really interesting social commentary about Hollywood, or not necessarily Hollywood, but just the film business in general, while still being his version of uh, manipulative and twisted. I love it. So here's the reason I'm, I'm going into a little more depth on this one. It's because I have, this is, I love this, alternate artwork. Really wonderful release from... Arrow video. It did get a domestic release in a limited situation. I'm not sure if it's still in print or not through a Vinegar Syndrome partner. But I have two copies. I have this one that's still factory sealed. Still factory sealed. Because I somehow accidentally ordered two. Now, this is a Region B release. This is why I haven't sold it or done anything special with it. I have an all region player, so I don't care. So, you know, I'm not going to push this on someone who doesn't have those capabilities. But if, you know, you want to, you have something cool, has to be pretty damn cool to get this, and you want to trade, or, you know, you know, you, you want to pick this up for me, let me know. Hit me in the comments. It's a really cool movie. All right, moving on. Don't go into the house. I love this movie. This is from the late 70s, I believe. It's a story about a guy who's basically a serial killer, and uh, you know he's got a little. This has got a little Norman Bates happening here. What happens if you miss mix a little Norman Bates, a little Psycho, in with a little '70s era, really edgy grindhouse, and that's what you get here. This was released domestically by Severin, I think. I think Severin. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm kind of. I'm in a pajama shirt here. It's like fit me like a tent. Um, but I, what I do remember is the domestic version, the artwork 
I like this slipcover better. The artwork on the Severin release was kind of cool because it looked like the VHS. But this one was half the price of the Severin one. And this one has more extras. So I just imported it. Again, this is a region B. But that has no impact on me because I love uh, to to get movies from, you know, everywhere. Here's, you know, I don't, I don't care. I have an all-region player. Here's the original artwork, the original poster. And this I remember from video stores and that kind of thing. Trying to get the glare off. If you've seen that, let me know what you think. Also, if you guys want me to go in-depth on any of these, maybe do a review or a deeper unboxing, let me know in the comments. All right, we have this beautiful movie here, Cinema Paradiso. If you are a fan of movies, but I mean a, like a cinephile, someone who really likes to get into the the history of film and into the psychology of going to the theater with people and that kind of thing, this is a no-brainer. If you just love a beautiful drama told, set around or inside a theater, you're still going to love this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful film. I absolutely love it. Again, we have a, this is um, Arrow Academy. So sad that Arrow Academy is gone. Arrow Academy got shut down when when Zavi came in and bought Arrow. Did this, did this not have any reversible artwork? It might not have. Uh... It does have reversible artwork. Why have I not flipped this? I See, this is why I have to do this across multiple videos. Why did I not flip this? Here is the... I mean, this is not beautiful. This is not beautiful. There's the other artwork. Um, I don't know if this is the original or... I, I feel like this is the original because this is the artwork I know. But I'm going to flip it so we have the uh, both versions of the artwork here. I got this... Very, very inexpensively with the slipcover as a Blu-ray release, and same as with uh, with 12 Monkeys. I have a check disc 4K of it, so I just dropped that in this case, and we are golden. So, like I said, this is going to happen a number of times, because I've done a good bit of reviewing for for um, Arrow Video. So, And at the end of the day, as much as I love collecting, and we all collect for different reasons, and I love to hear your reasons. If you want to talk about it, let me know. But for me, at the core, end of the day, it's about having the movie. And I have the have the 4K here, so I'm happy about that. Let me know if you've seen Cinema Paradiso. Okay, now we're good. There's the other artwork. So now we have all the artwork to look at. And that's the thing. That's what I love that I feel like Scream Factory I complained about is getting away from. Now I have two sets of artworks to look at every time I watch this movie. Beautiful. All right, moving on. I'm going to try and speed up here. Basket Case. This is a creature feature. There were others. There were three of these in total, I think. This is the better of them. This will give you a better idea what it looks like. There you go. I love this one. I bought this early on, and my Arrow Video Collecting has this cool... Uh, spot UV slip box, slip case very much uh, reminds me of a Vinegar Syndrome release Alice Sweet Alice kind of notoriously known for uh, one of if not the first Brooke Shields appearance in a movie it's a really solid 70s slasher slower burn you know it's, you're not going to be jumping every 5 seconds in this thing but it's good it's a, a really good movie I recommend. You can't get the slip cover anymore, but you can get with this art, or, or you can flip it around and have this one. If, so, again, all the same extras and stuff. We just do like our slips, some of us. This one is something that's going to leave the collection, I think. The Last Starfighter, because it is out in 4K now. If I can pick up that 4K, I'll be up. I keep bumping the microphone, you guys. Let me move this back. Maybe you can hear me better now, too. Uh, reverse artwork. If I can get that 4K, not if, it's just a matter of when. When I get that, I will flip this. Unless I, I wait too long and they don't have the slipcover anymore, then I'll keep the slipcover off this one. All right. Uh, Arrow's slipcovers have this nice kind of fabric-y kind of feel to them. I love it. One Miss Call Trilogy. I love Takeshi Miike. At some point... I'm going to do a Take uh, Takeshi Miike section in my in my collection because I have a lot of his movies. Arrow has a few of his greatest hits. So we will do that at some point. One Miss Call, uh, there's three of them in here, and they are diminishing returns. The first is the best, and then they kind of get worse and worse from there. But all of it's fun. 
all of it's fun. It's very hard, at least in my opinion, to do a technology-based horror movie that works. I don't think it usually works. He manages to do it with this one. All right, I love this movie, Tale of Two Sisters. I had this on DVD many years ago. Was so happy to see that someone was finally putting it out. Imprint has this out in a Blu-ray. I think I'm... Did I hear this is coming in 4K? If it's coming in 4K, I'll upgrade because I love this movie so much. But look at this beautiful slip, you guys. It's got this spot UV with the blood and stuff on there. It's gorgeous. And this is, if you've seen it before, you'll know this artwork. This is the original. It's a very good uh, creepy ghost story kind of movie. Again, this is another all-region release. I don't care. Although, flipping it will be difficult. It'll be hard to get rid of. I understand that. This one, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade this or not. I probably will if I see it on sale. This is Ronin. I know the Arrow recently released this in a 4K. I like this movie. It's a slow burn kind of uh, thriller. Great cast, led by Robert De Niro. This is the artwork that was kind of living forever, if you know the movie. I, I don't know if I have to have this in 4K. I, I kind of feel like anytime something... I don't feel like I know. I know this to be true. Anytime something is shot on film, it can benefit and does benefit from a 4K transfer. Uh, I just don't know if I love the movie enough to spend the money. If there's an Arrow sale and it goes for like 15 bucks on 4K, yeah, we'll do that. I feel like this one's going to hit a hit 4K at some point. 16 Candles, and if it does, I do love this movie enough to upgrade Molly Ringwald, classic, kind of John Hughes, not kind of, is a John Hughes comedy from from uh, the 80s. I mean, I know that John Hughes, Hughes uh, teen comedies were, looking back on them, they're kind of like fantasies. It's not really how it is, how it was, but they're fun, fun movies. And, and I love Molly Ringwald. I would love to meet her someday. We've got Versus here. This is... Uh, Yakuza Samurais versus Zombies. It's hilarious. Very, very fun movie. I don't. Uh, oh, I'll show you the original artwork. There you go. I don't know if this is one that'll ever hit 4K. I'm not sure. I don't think it was even shot on film. All right, so we did that pretty fast. You know what? Let's finish. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm gonna grab these hard boxes here. Uh, we'll start with these guys. I'm going to kind of go in reverse order here. I lo I hope they continue this series because I haven't seen a new one in a while and I'm loving them. Tenebrae. This is the Dario Argento movie, Tenebrae. I love Argento films. I like his giallos. I like his slashers. Everything pre-early 90s I like. Some of the newer stuff has not been very good. These are beautiful 4Ks with nice books and the whole thing. My favorite... Argento, Deep Red, beautiful, and I have obviously unboxed these on when I purchased them, but if you want to know more about any particular movie, see an unbox, whatever, we'll do that. Phenomena, now this one was actually also released by, by uh, Synapse, but I ordered, imported this one because I wanted to continue the, the boxes. Synapse's package is beautiful. The I think mostly the extras are the same. They're using the same transfer. There's no reason not to get that one, except to continue this series, which is I did. And I some for some reason have kept the J card on this one. I don't know why. All right. Then we have Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I love this one too. I just love Argento movies. And these these boxes are stunning together. And then this one. Um, this one I actually got. I should show it to you. This is a Cat of Nine Tails, but I got a special edition artwork. Same box. It just has different art on the front. Got an uh, the Italian there. Cat of Nine Tails. Quickly, I'll just show you the inside so you can actually see some text you can read. And that's what they have so far. I really, really want them to work some kind of deal with Synapse to get the, get the 4K of... Suspiria, and to be able to do that in a box for this series. All right. Moving on. I finally acquired this one, Battle Royale. This was a 4K import. Um, 
not going to pull it out. I'll do that if you want to see it. There is a box set to get the other movies, but this is the only good Battle Royale. The sequels weren't good, so I was perfectly, perfectly fine to just get that one. Wild Things. This is again. I imported the 4K, but 4Ks you can play. That doesn't matter where they're from. They're not. They're not region locked. This did eventually come out and is available here in the U.S. now, so you can have it. You can order it if you like. I chased this set for so long, and now I think they're going to do a 4K box set. Damn it. I love this set, though. The house, uh, the two stories. This is not a complete series. This is only the first two films, but I really only care about the first two films. I think there's four in total. But So you have the two films in here, and then this beautiful book. I'm only going to show you this because this is such a special book. Look at this. Hard book. Look how thick this is. This is a wonderful book. And I don't know, you know, I, I would want these. I would want these in 4K. I love them. The first one is is fun and silly, as George Went and William Cat in it. Second one is really funny and campy, even funnier. So I like them. If they do a 4K, I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do. But I, I'm pretty sure they're doing 4Ks. I don't know. If they do a 4K box set of all four films, I'm going to be in trouble. Robocop. So happy to have the hard box edition of this. This box is out of print, but you can get the 4K. This has the DVD set in here, but again, another situation where I have the 4K check disc inside here. So it's a really nice 4K. I think this is the last time I'm going to. No, there's one more time I'm going to say that. Tremors. Very nice hard box here. Blue, uh, this is the. Um, did I get the 4K on this one? No, no I didn't. It's just a black box that threw me off. This is the, the Blu-ray, but I have the 4K check disc inside here. Yep. Wonderful set. And this is the last time I'm gonna say that. Last house on the left. I fought to get this, at, this almost sold out on me. They did put a 4K out, I don't think it was in this box, but even if it was, it doesn't matter because I have this box with a 4K check disc inside, so. That's it. Now, just a few left. This is uh, a set that I have a very much love-hate situation. This is Demons 1 and 2. I love this the artwork, but the problem is, is this thing is so loose. If you go to pull it off the shelf like that, it just slips open. So I, and it has a digipack on the inside. So I don't love that. I've got some other split box releases that do this better. So this is annoying. All right. I think this was the first 4K that I bought from Arrow. Flash Gordon. Beautiful set. It's got a nice book inside there. It's got a full length, like feature length documentary in here about the about this guy. That guy. Really good movie. Great documentary. Flash Gordon is really campy and fun. American Werewolf in London. Did I get this in 4K or is this a check disc? Nope, I bought this 4K. Glad I didn't uh, lie to you earlier. This uh, has some of the best practical or practical effects in cinema history. If you haven't seen it, you really need to. done you guys we made it another Gaspar Noe film and I love this package I think someone else put this out too but it really it doesn't matter to me I'm happy to have this one enter the void and for some reason again I still have this have the J card I'm not in the habit of collecting J cards you don't eat before watching this movie and it's not because of the gore it's because of the camera this is a very swimmy camera in this one I, I love this movie all right, that's almost it. One set left, you guys. One set. And that is this one. I showed you guys we just got this one. This, to me, is probably the best box set of 2023, and this Scream Factory really surprises us with something. I can't wait to bust into these movies. So there you go. That is my Arrow collection. It took three videos to get it all in there. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of, of the different collections I have within the Arrow um, 
within the Arrow catalog, and uh, let's talk about movie collecting. Until next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV at home. I'll see you guys on the next one.